All right, welcome back to the Good Morning Ninja Show. And I believe, say, if I don't deal with me from the beginning, I don't say, say we did deliver all the things we, we tell on I say we go deliver. From one better thing to another one, we just finished uh, the first interview with uh, a very, very interesting uh, personality, BC Ozon Yale, and uh, the founder of uh, STEAM Empowerment uh, you know, Foundation. And talking about educational things. So we decided to move on to the next one. And this conversation we're having with BM Baby, a Nigerian female artist where they thrive so far. BM Baby, how are you doing today? I'm fine, thank you. I can Thanks see. Thanks for having me. I can see. <laughs> You're all right. You're all right. Okay, so BM Baby, it's a, it's a tradition for us on the show to always ask our guests how they are doing because we know there's a pandemic, a lot of things have changed, expectations have been cut short. So how are you honestly? Uh, tell us the truth. No sugar Wow. Honestly, the truth is this year has been one hell of a year for me because this pandemic showed me pepe. Mm -hmm. I lost my brother for this pandemic and it wasn't really easy for me. Mm -hmm. So it's, I think it's a year of survival. Hmm. A year if you of survive survival. this year, just... I like that. I like the fact that you're honest with this and uh, our condolences on the on the loss of your brother. We believe that uh, you are strengthened all the way. Well, uh, today we're going to be discussing the music industry eh? and uh, you don't did this industry for quite some time. But before we jump into the conversation properly, uh, for those we know to uh, know who BMBB be, we're going to be playing uh, your video so that they can get a feel of what BMBB can offer. So let's check out the video. When we come back, the conversation will start. Lendi Patwa, how do you guys get to know how to speak it and what to speak? Is there a process to it? Just lead us through that sharply. May we understand? Okay, first of all, um, when you have a passion for something or you love something, you tend to learn about it. Mm -hmm. So I can't learn about it. I love the culture. Like, I love dance or music. So I love the vibe. I can't fuse dance for. Mm -hmm. That's the Patwa thing. Afro and Niger yeah. way inside my so that's it. Hmm. It's just like you love um, speaking French and then you learn it. You want to know so much about it. That's how it all happens. So, so me like say I don't go to make because I want to ask that and say, sure, you don't go there, go to see as it's in the B. Uh, but it's so, 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 so far, you've you've just had a passion for this style of music, and you decided to you go use it and take push your own music forward, right? I, I I had a passion. I like I've always had a passion for dance. So, okay. so I started watching a lot of Jamaican movies. Yeah. I started um listening to their translation. Like I could write something for like English. Then I'll now translate it to what mm. um dictionary, the pronunciation and all that. So that's how it all started. When you do something consistent, actually grow. Yeah. If you do it like, consistently. From, mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. That's something try to speak with my friend, we try to chat, we have a lot of things together. So that's how it works. Amazing. Okay, so now when you talk about uh, the female uh, artists in the industry, in the music industry, and how a lot of things been day for that side. Now, speaking of our first conversation <laughs> will be based on the uh, expectation and competition level. Now, you they do patois and your, your, you know, your, your Afro kind of vibe, and you still get other guys where they do the same thing. So how is it for you? How does the competition play out? So people just they say, okay, uh, the guy better pass the girl, or did they put on her in, in part? It's okay, maybe we check this one, maybe we check that one. How is the competition like uh, being, um, it, for you to suck to excel in this industry as that female artist doing patois ag uh, against the guy with the runner? So far, tell us as it be for you. First of all, it, for me, I feel like, see, I feel like it's not really a competition because okay. The sense that you have to be outstanding to stand out. Like everybody sings, every everybody can sing. I can sing. There might be someone that be better better than me, but mm -hmm. there's what you do in your own way, your own style that make you unique. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Okay, like I have a friend um, who's also a dancer. We vibe. We love each other. I I learn from her. She learns. So there are things I'll be able to do that she can't do. So I, I just feel like. There are things also she can do that I cannot do, but I don't really feel like it's a competition. There are some things I could do in my way that she cannot do, so I don't feel like it's really a competition. It's just by grace, and when God just shine light. Uh, <laughs> well, I understand, but one of the major reasons why I ask this question, we say there's been a conversation out there that 
female artists, not the feature female artists, as much as how male artists, they feature male artists. Quem reason because, according to what they say, they say female artists no go like make another female artist shine pass them on top in music. Or if we are singing the same kind of vibe, it is best for you to be on your own singing it while this other person be on your own singing their own. Because they don't want to drag the shine. In, you know, they don't want to drag that shine together. So what is your take about this conversation? Is it that female artists just don't like to feature other female artists? Or uh, it is just a situation that happens and everybody just wants to grow on their own? Because now which people they talk for street be that. We can see a lot of male collaborations, but we know they get female collaborations a lot. What do you want to talk about this one? What I want to talk about this one, we see, you know, say women, we get what I like. Yes, <laughs> we always feel like someone... that. Okay. <laughs> we always feel like someone is the rival, or I'm too big for this person, or this person, me and I know they're the same level. But I think the way guys, they do, like, if we women can actually act that way, it will be better. Hmm. Do you understand? So, for me, I don't have any issues featuring. I can see artists where better pass me, or artists where good, not be like better pass me. They are vibe nice. Yes. I feel them from. I want to feature them. I wouldn't like okay because she's good. Uh, I, I can't put her on my song. Most people be like, oh, this girl is very good. If I can't put her on my song, she could take my shine. But yeah. we guys, no really like that. Women, we get our issues so much. <laughs> And so, so don't you feel this is one of the reasons why the, the success of the female artist in Nigeria is reduced? Don't you think this can be one of the major reasons why it's that way? Because looking at the amount of male artists where they succeed for the industry, uh, compared to the amount of female artists where they succeed, it's like 8 to 2 in ratio. So, you know, if you say this one are one of the, the issues, one of the problems, yeah, I think it's one of the issues, but on, on the same note, people, it, it, tend, it happens that people tend to not really understand we're very, we are very soft, sometimes we dis defensive about situations, but people don't tend to understand us. We, <laughs> and guys, the streets, like, a guy can, let's do this, let's do that, girl with the soft, I, go out and do this thing. Mm -hmm. yeah, but I know you chicks for the hustler, Sha. That they will do anything to like make sure this will. But what you talked about is part of things because we don't really recognize each other. Hmm. The hmm. female side. It makes we, sense. We feel sometimes, oh, this is not my level. I can't feature her. Yeah. Or if I bring what she might shine me. I, I had an, ex, ex, uh, an experience that happened to a friend of mine. She featured somebody. The song was really dope and they were playing it so much. And this girl was doing the video and she didn't because. The person she future actually killed the song. So if I were to be that girl, I'll push the song because radios and TV stations were actually playing the song free without yeah. taking not them, because, showing them love. So if I were to be that girl, I'll push that video out there. I and my friend will grow together. So she's not taking my shine because she was featured in my song. Those are the problems we actually have about ladies. Hmm. And it's, it's quite unfortunate that this is one of the major problems that caused uh, the decline in the success of uh, the female artists in Nigeria. But hey, we don't know why we did get this conversation to talk about that. No, so now, as a female artist, we did the industry, and we know that a lot of things, a lot of factors that uh, female artists face in trying to become that top celebrity that they want to be uh, in, in their industry. Now, speaking about the music industry, as you are, uh, shall you feel lead us through a few challenges that you feel that you face personally as a female artist in the industry just a few challenges that you feel you face it can be financial it can be you know in relations it, well, let's let, let us know the few challenges as a female artist that you face i um i have a couple of them record label record label that, yeah um i've been signed to like two record labels you know most times can blame artists about this recording deals like when your record Work out well, people yes. tend to get everything, but they forget that it's always two sides of the story. Mm -hmm. You understand? Now, there was something I was actually talking about. Oh, I think we're okay. I think we have a lost connection there, but we'll try to get them back. And when they speak to BM Baby and a uh, young Nigerian talented female artist, and when they talk about how the situation be being a female artist in the industry and and waiting to share there, because a lot of times, if you deal with us for the first conversation part, we talk say, yeah, sometimes there are factors that you know affect the growth of the female artist in the industry. So I think I have BM Baby back. 
Uh -huh. BNB, you don't, you don't come back, Abby. All right. Yeah, don't come All right. back. Too. All right. right. So you may talk about uh, record <laughs> labels and recording deals. So uh, yeah. you shed more light okay. on that. Like, yeah, most times people tend to blame artists, yeah, for, for actually leaving a label, not knowing what is actually wrong. Okay. Because um, there's always two sides of a story. For mm -hmm. instance, now I'm going mm -hmm. to say um, I was once signed to a record label. They come sound looking like, oh, it's going to be nice, it's going to be okay. And then all of a sudden, things just start changing. Most of the time, we make mistakes to sign contracts we don't really know about. We don't even know about copyrights. And I think artists, we need to really get ourselves educated. Okay. You have to ask yourself, if a record label is signing and is taking your copyright, what is it taking? Are you, are you having the right to your lyrical content mm -hmm. because it's your intellectual property? We don't tend to know that. Do you understand? Yeah. I've been in record label. Okay, I was once in a record label. I was very happy to be there. Everything was moving fine. They were family. They treated me nice. And I did a four years deal. And in two years, um, my record label came up that I have to extend my contract. And then me being that the fact that it's my career and I really want to go far, I was like, okay, I don't have an issue extending my contract. But in these two years, how far? How far have I gone? Mm -hmm. How far have you guys pushed me? Yeah, you guys have pushed me, but how well have you guys pushed me? So we now had a disagreement of not agreeing to, okay, extending. I said, okay, can I have, can you guys give me a year to see how you guys would do, then I'll extend. So since we didn't agree, we broke up. And then that's what's been happening. And sometimes you're in a record level where it starts with love, the next minute is changing, you, you don't have a say, you can't, okay, it's my career, so I should ask questions. Like in mm -hmm. Nigeria, labor is number one. Me. If you just ask questions, okay, how is the sale doing? What is what going on? We just feel like, see, this one don't need the greedy. This one don't need the ungrateful. Mm -hmm. This one don't need. But those are questions that need to be asked. You need to know what is happening, how, how well you're doing, what is the online sale, and yeah. all that. So plenty of them. And then secondly, I'm going to, refer to you will go show your own fellow as well on the gist like or that they talk on a normal day go do a show no call you mm. you go call the surprise like what is really happening like do you understand yeah so or someone making advances at you um i've been in a situation that um um sometimes i was working with someone my boss was actually making advances at me like you'll be making some silly comments like uh are you going to ask me say would they do me now where your boyfriend and all this kind of thing. And mm -hmm. I try to keep it strictly business because I don't like to mix business with pleasure in the sense that if we don't the mix business, mix and pleasure. Mm. Uh, wow, that's still, still some network situation there. But uh, yeah, the conversation is still with BM Baby. And I believe so, now they uh, understand the things that they talk about. We're talking about uh, how uh, the female artist thrives in uh, the music industry. Well, BM Baby, welcome back, Jerry. Like, some network issues, they happen. We no one let this conversation uh, play out. But still, go <laughs> ahead. Uh, we enjoy it in the talk. Go ahead. Um, so I also have another experience that um, a very close friend of mine, um, she's based Wow, uh, I would apologize again for this network uh, situation. Major issue. Okay, not be our fault, but we will definitely try so, to connect like back. Major right. issue. Okay, yeah. Okay, we, we, we've been lost within you talk earlier because of some network issues, so you can you just tell us that last thing you said? Okay, I said um, I had a friend that was um, signed to a label, um, a friend I know, very, very close friend of mine in Port Harcourt. Um, she was signed to a label, but her boss doesn't want to see her with anybody, you just want to see her date anybody. Like you sign her, you don't sign her for a relationship or what hmm. she should do with her life. You now you can't change, you, you don't want to push her. Oh yeah, what's up with my contract? What's happening? If you're not pushing me, let me know what's happening. You can't tell me before you know termination and all that. And that's how I got my own letter of termination. And I don't go meet person who's supposed to help me for music. The guy they told me see me, I go lash well. I'm like, seriously, God that gave me this um talent gave it for for free for so free. why should i come here and then i need to do so i try not to put myself in a situation where i'll be under the mercy of people hmm. so i try to aside music I, I like to hustle so i don't i don't go it's not wrong to beg people it's not wrong to to be your um, loyal but it's wrong when people want to take advantage of you and i try not to put myself under that situation hmm. that's what i do
So, so it's been like a, a situation that you faced over time, seeing that uh, these are one of the challenges that female artists face. Now, you're speaking from personal experience, and that's the fact that we decided to have this conversation. It's good to hear from uh, the horse's mouth as uh, we could take talk on. But looking at, at the situation now, knowing that all these things happen, and uh, all, well, most female artists are faced with situations they can't control, I would take it back to the fact that you said some, there are sometimes you get into contracts you don't really understand. And you made mention of how artists need to educate themselves more. Yeah. Now, when these things happened, uh, what was the next um, um, point of action for you? Seeing that, okay, the contract is not what you expected. There are so many things you need to, be, to put in place. There are so many questions you had to ask. So after this whole situation, what was the next point of action for you? Did you get to talk to your lawyer? Was there a conversation between lawyers um, and lawyers? How did it go? Okay, the way it all happened, it happened in a way that we didn't really have um, a beef. It couldn't work because they were not agreeing to the fact that this is my, um, this is what I'm concerned about. Mm -hmm. And then, so I, I spoke to my lawyer, because it's always good to have a lawyer to put you through. Yes. In all your things. So I spoke to my lawyer. We now agreed with the label. So I was given a letter of termination. In that process, they took me on a way. So I, I no plan to leave the label. Like, I love them. The vibe and everything was okay. So at some point, I got depressed. Hmm. I just tired. Because it, it was like taking me on a way. And then something now happens. I got depressed. I stopped dropping um, um, singles. Mm -hmm. I things really got so bad. I just wanted to be in my zone. I was tired. I was not posting. I'm like, I wanted to give up, but I couldn't because music is my happy place. Okay. So that was it. I started recording again. I started writing songs again until the death of my brother now broke me. And then somehow, somehow, I think God just helped me to like come out of it. Hmm. And that's it. I've been recording and lots of opportunities are coming also, and I thank God for it. So that's just my story. Hmm. I, I totally just blanked out last year. Even I've not dropped a song since I left. Like, why? Why is this happening to me? Yeah. What is wrong? Sometimes you begin to question yourself, like, and then people just judge. And then some people just laugh. Some people just say whatever they want to say. They don't know your side of the story. They don't know what you've been through mm -hmm. you've put in so much you've written so much you've written songs you've done videos you've done ep and then you just let that go mm -hmm. you've not even dropped some of the songs it's painful it's really 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 painful i know some artists can relate to it mm -hmm. there are songs i take so personal i can't really do anything about it i just have like um royalties with the label and that's it mm. wow Interesting. Well, it's good to have that, the fact that we're having this conversation, let people get to see it from the side of the artist also, not just from, from the outside, because now waiting, people, they usually, they look with us, eh, all that, and they're waiting, they shine for outside, now they see. But now, me and baby, now that you have decided to, uh, to come back, to, to give yeah. us a comeback into the music scene, and uh, are you going to be doing this? Uh, are you going to be signing into any record deals anytime soon, or would you just uh, be uh, in your actually, safe place and do it on your own for now? Something cooking. I really don't want to speak it. I'll, I've had um, um, I have a management team, but I've been having um, record deals. But this time, I really want to go through the contract and know what is good for me, mm -hmm. and not just signing and not looking at some clause that I should take serious that will have issues like now we artists we make mistakes you go to sign a contract let's see they will do this they will do that you will not take note okay how many videos are you shooting for me in a mm -hmm. year what's the target plan how are you going to promote me mm -hmm. if you're paying me allowance what is this um your wardrobe allowance you you if you're doing a contract you should clarify those things yes now if if now he doesn't do those things and then the the record label shoots one video, he can say, yes, I promoted, I, I shot one video. You can't hold anything against it. It's not like you should have something to hold, but if you're getting into a contract, then you should make sure you have someone dissect it for you and tell you what you need to know and what you, you, you shouldn't do. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what I feel. Interesting. Okay, that's really, really nice. So you are not looking at, you are going to be signing, but you're going to make sure you go through nah, all... I'm going to sign. You go I check everything first. I, I don't want to get depression again. 
<laughs> I don't wish it on my enemy. <laughs> wow. Wow. But it's all good. Yeah. It's all good. It's good to right. see that you're back and you're active and you're ready to give yeah. us better, better jams on the music scene. Really, I can't wait. <laughs> you know, you can't wait. No, I like but, that. You know, every time I hear the fatu, I just, it gingers me. But it's all good. It's good. It's good that you're, you're back in the scene and uh, you are ready to, to make it happen for us. So what should we be expecting from BM Baby anytime soon, seeing the fact that um, you're back here now? Um, I'm going to start by dropping a single, then I'll do an EP, then I'm going to do a lot of um, videos. I really want people to really know who I am. Yes, outside music, yes. I am someone with reserve, and people don't know. Oh. I like to be in my closet. So music is the thing that actually makes me... I'm somehow shy, but people don't really know okay. because of me doing something here, here, like a defense and mechanism. So I want people to really know and with the grace of God help. And I've had amazing friends that actually put me through and let me know that, okay, don't rush it. Take your time. Hmm. Just heal. So now that I'm back, there will be a lot really happening. Hmm. A lot really happening because I can't just give up. After all the suffer and stress and everything, I just yeah. want to stop like that. possible. It's necessary. All right, so yeah. uh, we're expecting a lot from BM Baby anytime soon. Uh, like you say, talk about yeah. uh, singles, videos, EPs, and, yeah. uh, and definitely yeah. collaborations, right? If you get one, if you want to do any, you get any secret collaboration, we go want to do more, we go just give us an idea of who you go like collaborate uh, with. Uh, if I tell you guys, you know, secret again, I'll, I'll just be... wait. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we go wait, we go wait. All right, uh, well, it's been an amazing conversation with you, BM Baby, and we believe, say, as you don't decide to come back into the scene, a lot of expectations there, and the Nigerians go they wait to enjoy your music as it be. And we're hoping that all the best on that front. Uh, everything goes, everything goes soft, everything goes day okay. Thank you very much for talking to us today Thank on the so Good much. Morning Ninja show, and we'll definitely get you again, maybe when uh, one of the jams drop, we'll go still talk about them on that level. I will come back. All right, <laughs> all back. right. Thank you very much, BM Baby. Thank you for your time. Oh